Wouldn't it be nice to start your mornings like this? Today we are in Kahawa Sukari to have a look at this five bedroom, 47 million Kenya shilling house. Well, you can make your own offer, but that is the price on the house. And see what this house has to offer. It comes with a koi pod, there's a gazebo here, there's a detached staff quarters and a gym. And as you can see, you have an area where you can enjoy your golf or chill out with your friends well let's walk inside and see what this house that starts on a quarter acre has to offer meantime i got a game to enjoy see you Let's start our tour from the exterior and you're welcomed by your automated gate into the property and you have this motor coat area that uh, can comfortably do, uh, well, many cars, let me say that. Because here you have a carport and this carport can fit in two cars and you can actually squeeze a third one here as we saw earlier in the morning, right Willis? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. This is a very huge space. Yeah. I mean, if you have more than even like three cars. Six cars is actually, because you can do three cars here. Yeah, and then, then on can, this other side. You can do a car where you're studying. Yeah. And two cars on this side, yeah? Yeah. So you can do comfortably six cars without squeezing them. So it's very spacious and uh, well, if you are a buyer, you can you'll see it for yourself when you come to this house. Yeah? Mm -hmm. And on that side of the house, we have a garden where there's even a fully grown uh, avocado tree with avocados as we have seen. Yeah. And uh, we have sugar cane, so I believe I'm going to chew some, something from this place. <laughs> and even have tomatoes, sukumawiki, so you don't have to go buy sukumawikis when you're staying in this house. Yeah? Yeah. And that path also leads to the detached staff quarters and the gym. Yeah? Yeah. And we're going to see that later on. You can also use it to access the kitchen or the backyard of the house. Yeah? Mm -hmm. And from here we can see the facade of this house. It's a very massive house, five bedrooms and... Uh, Sitting a on a quarter room. acre. Sitting on a quarter acre. Yeah, and yeah. It's, so, it's so even full, yet yeah. inside is very spacious. Yes. So I, I guess this is what they call using the space well. Yes. And as you're going to see, we have seen some very unique pictures that we haven't even seen in multi-million dollar houses. Yeah. Some of the other houses that we have toured, right? Yep, of yeah, of course. On this other side, you have uh, the most interesting part of this compound, yeah? Uh -huh. So notice even as you come along, you have uh, trees and flowers along the, the perimeter wall. Yeah. And the perimeter wall is uh, have an electric fence and you even have that barbed wire for added security. But remember, you're within a gated community. So this is just uh, for extra caution, yeah? yeah? But you're already safe, yeah? Yeah. yeah. Also on the perimeter wall on the outside, yeah. there's a well-manicured uh, garden. garden. I mean, it's, yeah, yeah, it's very yeah. nice to see. So you are welcomed by those manicured gardens. Yeah. Then you come to this. When we talk about manicured gardens, <laughs> this guy should be the standard of manicured gardens. Yeah. You start off with the trees, very well trimmed. Mm -hmm. Then this uh, grass. This is not your usual Kikuyu grass. Yeah. Because this is actually meant for a golf course. Yeah. And it's, he was telling, the owner of the property was telling us that it is only that the gardener has uh, not been doing their work as they should. But uh, it's even supposed to be neater than it, neater is, right than it now. is right now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So this, this place is very nice and you have been enjoying, uh, you know, Hitting the ball. <laughs> Today is a ball and holes day. <laughs> yeah. So you have had fun with that, yeah? And I can only imagine if you have kids, they would totally enjoy this area. Mm -hmm. They would, uh, with their friends. 
and even yourself as the owner of the house. Yeah. So if you are about you enjoy your game and you have yeah. friends like Joshua, Joshua friend. Yeah. Yeah, I know he would love this house. I even thought of him when we were here and I said he is going to be mad at us we didn't call him. <laughs> but uh, this this would be make a perfect home for him, yeah? Yeah. And this other side, you have a water feature. Pro Very probably my favorite part of this home yeah. is this place. It's so the relaxing. water feature, the koi pound. Yeah. Um, at the gazebo by the water feature. Yeah. I mean, I'm in love with this space. For me, this is the first time we are seeing this. I know there are many other houses that have it, but we haven't seen them yeah. on the tour, that is. Yeah? So this is the first time we have this on tour. We have a koi pod and uh, it's a fully, it's a functional koi pod there. Yeah? Yeah. So you have fish, I can see uh, you have a uh, fish here. And by the way, this koi pod is not just here. It starts from that side. All the way to that other side yeah yeah so it's massive and uh really mm -hmm. i agree with you it's the best part of the house it's so yeah, relaxing yeah. can you imagine sitting at the primary bedroom a balcony and listening to the sound of mm -hmm. just just reading the you know your book or even just taking your morning coffee the only time we get to hear the sound most of us is when it's flooding <laughs> But uh, the owner of this property, this is what they enjoy every day. Every day. I would buy this property just because, because of, this. of this. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They really went all out. And in case you're wondering why it has a cage all around it, it's because uh, the owner has small kids. So it's very important that you protect kids and pool, pools. And um, because of, of wild cats. There's even a cat on site yeah. that uh, Willis has already befriended. <laughs> and uh, obviously they would enjoy your fish. Huh? Yeah. They, they would enjoy the protein. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, that is one of the main reasons why they have that cage yeah, over yeah, there. Yeah. Because yeah. of the cats that come here to hunt the fish. Yeah. Yeah. So again, if you are about keeping off the grass, yeah. as some people would have that signage in their you know, manicured gardens, yeah. <laughs> people can use this pathway if you want them to access this gazebo yeah mm -hmm. so in this gazebo this is a fully i mean it's a fully functional man cave yeah so very important especially after putting uh, the ball in the hole you can just come here in this gazebo yeah so grab your two beers one beer yeah have your have two beers with your friends yes you know? yeah just yeah. chill out you can even make a fire here if you want mm -hmm. uh, there's a portable fire press and uh, you can even work from here if you wanted. Yeah? Yeah. You have this desk, you have some cabinetry, and there's a TV here that we should... A that should function yeah, screen, yeah? Yeah, a functional, yeah? yeah? And you even have a small sink set up here. Yeah. Wash your hands, eat your nyamachoma. And did you see those balls there, like the golf balls? This is all about yeah, golf. You can never run out of those. So guys, you know, if you go there at uh, Windsor to try and put these balls in, you, you pay, I think, 1,400 shillings. Yeah. So you don't have to go there. You can just enjoy it here. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah, you can just shoot at your place. You, know, you can just shoot yourself. at your place. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, I believe this house is really valuable for money. And uh, people have been tagging us on this home yeah. because it has been featured by some other realtors and telling us, Mansa, we really need this tour. And uh, I hope they're finally happy and pleased that we have toured this house. Mm -hmm. Again, you have another feature because what's better than one water feature? Uh, two, of course. Yes. <laughs> and you know, Willis, yeah. this is the first time that we have started the whole tour on the exterior. Yes. It just goes to show that this exterior has so much to offer. It, it does, it yeah. does. <laughs> Actually, yeah. like this feels more like a home because yeah. Home is where you want to be all the time, even oh, yes. though you are, oh, yes. yeah. you know, you have to go to work yeah. and whatever, yeah. but yeah. you yeah. just want to be at home all the time. Yes. Yeah. This is what home is. I will come here, shoot yeah. my balls, yeah. chill, yeah. Um, and I will have peace here. Like, it, it won't be somewhere I want to go. You know, if you're living in a bad city, you definitely want to go out every single exactly. time. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> That's a very good point that Willis is, go is making. Yeah. The owner of this house has surely made it a home and you're going to see it around the house, yeah? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Again, you have your gardens continue even on this uh, raised platform. And I even like the separation that they did here. Yeah. Yes. Just having, yes. And I would, if, I, if this was my home, I would put a sitting bench here. You know, where you can yeah. just sit under yes. this, uh, you know, palm. Yeah, and, so that uh, you can enjoy the, yeah, the cold. Yeah, enjoy the shade, yeah. yeah? The shade, yeah. When you're done with the sun, you come here and enjoy the shade, yeah? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Again, you even have these scribing uh, planters, and uh, you have this all around your house. One thing before I forget, you have sprinklers around. 
So watering yeah. this grass is easy because we understand that this grass has is a lot of work to maintain. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So they have the owner has gone an extra mile to ensure that it is well. You the watering part is catered for with those sprinklers. Yeah. Yeah. yeah you can even see like a sprinkler there. And I, and I know people may be asking, see, that's a lot of power. Yeah. But guess what? This house runs on 24 <laughs> 7 solar system. I was keeping that for later. Oh, for later. <laughs> but now that Willis has mentioned it, yeah. so in case you're wondering, even powering this, I know, you know, people just like seeing uh, the, the, yeah, the, the electricity bill going oh, up. KPLC is not happy with this home yeah. because this home is fully. They use KPLC as a backup. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> for bad weather days. For bad weather, yeah. <laughs> but it is fully powered by a solar. We yeah. have uh, batteries, a 5 kV power station of their own, yeah. and you see those uh, solars at, at some point. And uh, you know, to invest in those batteries, it's it's really expensive. Mm -hmm. The fact that uh, it comes with the house, yeah. it's a very good thing. This is the second time you're seeing a house that is fully powered by solar. Mm -hmm. You remember the house we saw along Kembo Road? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. The one with the pool. Yeah. Yeah. Not the one with the pool. Yeah. Uh -huh. Forgetting the house, but there's a house we toured. A short video we did uh, somewhere along Kembu Road. Oh yeah. yeah. And uh, it was fully solar powered. Yeah? So this is the second time you're seeing such a house, and it's a very interesting feature, especially now that uh, KPSC has gone rogue with those power bills. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Again, this uh, area continues to your backyard, and uh, here. You have an outdoor fireplace where you can do your barbecues. You can cook. Uh, you can you can do your cereals as well. Yeah. Yeah. For those guys who like storing a lot of beans, and you know, my mom would be so pleased with this house. I, Let like, alone your mom. Yeah. Like uh, you know those nyamachomas we do in Mazenga ah, is 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 out here grilling for us. Perfect place. This will <laughs> definitely be perfect. <laughs> Mazenga would enjoy it. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. He'd be doing barbecues every night to yeah. advantage. <laughs> so and this is very well done. This is mm -hmm. not just any, you know, when you say barbecue, someone might think, ah, it's just it's a grill. It's just a grill, yeah. But look, it's all uh, bricks, so yeah. it means you're saving even on energy, yeah. Mm -hmm. So you can use very uh, little charcoal or firewood, yeah. Because yeah. you can use charcoal or firewood. Or firewood so yeah. you have the, that for barbecuing, and you have these uh, two stoves for, you know, you can, for doing the cereals so or yeah. whatever you want to. Or even to chemsha your mtura. Yeah, to chemsha your, your soup. <laughs> yeah. And to <laughs> Exactly. Again, on this side, so here we have a door that uh, leads to the... To, the kitchen, me, yeah. Let me open to the kitchen. So this is your way to the kitchen, mm -hmm. but you're going to see that later on. Mm -hmm. And uh, on this other side, you have another door that uh, leads to a detached... Not a detached, but... Um, bedroom that you access from the outdoors yeah? yeah so this you can't access this from inside the house and this is very important for uh, people with young boys who yeah. are uh, looking towards initiation and so on yeah? yeah yeah so once they initiated they can use this as their bedroom mm -hmm. as young men yeah, yeah. and it is uh, it's fully in suit, yeah, yeah. In suit. you have uh, the bathroom here have a very nice vanity setup and uh, the water closet and even the bathroom, yeah? yeah, the shower area. Sorry, and on this side you have a laundry area. Earlier on, not even earlier on, actually, there's some clothes washing, as you can see. Yeah, so there you have, and uh, you have even these shelves to put your detergents and so on. You have a uh, light coming in, natural light. Your big window, a big window behind me, and um, you know, Willis. Yeah. Before I forget, now that I've talked about the windows, yeah, mm -hmm. you see how they're proofed. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. This is not yeah. paint. Yeah, that is not paint. Yeah. They, they called it what? Uh, an, an ash what? There's a name for it. Yeah. And I'm forgetting it. <laughs> so that's why I was drawing it on news. <laughs> Uh, uh, but we're going to check with the owner. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And someone in the comments can tell us. Yeah. yeah. So again, it's a very a nice uh, laundry area. Someone mm -hmm. commented about uh, uh, enclosed. Laundry, uh, laundry areas, yeah. so I'm sure they would be happy with this. Yeah. Again, you have two sinks here. Yeah. Washing your dirty shoes, you know. Yeah. Even and my, my you thing, can wash a pet here. Yeah. yeah. Yes. And my thing is that uh, this place is well aerated, and yes. it brings in yeah. also yeah. good light, good amount of light. You know, I'm even seeing myself ironing here. Yeah. Comfortable. Comfortable. Because of all the natural light you're getting. Yeah. 
it, this would be a nice space to work. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it yeah, is. yeah. 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 So even your staff will be proud of yourself, of, of you. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the, you know, sometimes your staff might be saying, "Hey, like, yeah, come, kaziaji." But this time, this case, they'll be happy with you. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, again, I forgot to mention that here you have your uh, gas cylinders. Mm. So no keeping gas cylinders in the house. And one thing I've actually liked about this, mm -hmm. most people build this area next to the house. Yeah. But in case of fire, you see that doesn't really help. Uh, yeah. But having it detached with from the house mm. on the fence, this is very on the perimeter wall. This yes. is very nice. It's a good thing to note. Yeah. Mm. You can see that the owner was, or the architect was really paying. Uh, yeah. Attention things, to yeah. little things. Yeah. yeah. You have a sink here. So, so how many? I mean. You, you get everything. So, <laughs> so in case you have caterers here, you have uh, people assisting you with a function. It would be mm. very easy for them to operate because you have all these spaces to work with. Yeah. 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 Again, moving on. Here you have your uh, these lines to dry your clothes. Mm -hmm. There is there's a joke about this man in the 80s who put up an advert on the newspaper and said solar drying power lines. Yeah. And people uh, send money and he was selling them for quite some money. Yeah. And uh, people send money thinking they'll get some, you know, fancy, yeah, fancy drying line. Yeah. 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 <laughs> fancy feature to yeah. dry their clothes. Yeah. yeah. And he sent them this. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, and well, they, it is a solar dry. And they sued him, but the, the coach was saying, yeah, yeah, for sure, it is a solar so, dry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, while we are studying with this, mm. there's a water tank. Uh -huh. That holds forty-five thousand liters of water. That's a lot so of if, water for one house. I know. What, yeah. what would you do with all that water? <laughs> yeah. I know some apartments that doesn't even don't even have that kind of storage. Yeah. <laughs> so are uh, you assured of water in case you saw the fountain uh, fountains and the water features and you're wondering, hey, mm. how about uh, the way water is a problem in Nairobi? But yeah. uh, this. A, this is all catered for. Yeah, but, yeah. If, but if, even though like the fountains, they don't use the same. They don't use the, the same. The same time. I'm just yeah? saying for those people you know. who like to look for things. Oh, to, to say. see. Oh, yeah. yeah. So here yeah, you are being. You are coming this way. We, we <laughs> use it as well. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And, and uh, now here is where we have. Uh, before I talk about this, let me talk about uh, the solar power system that we really was talking about. Mm. So these are the batteries, and as, as you can see. This is a full power station with even an inverter there. Mm -hmm. So, and I can assure you that this house, at the moment, we are using solar. Yeah. We are using solar. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, fully powered. And and you see, the, the good thing about this, if you are to compare it with that, because you have seen houses with a backup generator. Mm. The good thing about this is so quiet. Yeah, it is. It is Unlike so quiet. Unlike generators. Yeah. Yeah. And, and generators use fuel, so you're yes. burning fuel. And the good thing yeah. is that this is not the backup, this is the running light. This is what you use to run the house, yeah. including the washing machine the washing that you have seen working. Everything. Including uh, the fridge that yeah. we saw, a very big fridge in the kitchen, and I'm going to see it. Yeah. And guys, this, I know you know about solar. For mm. it to be functional to this level, mm. Imagine that cost is in that 47 million Kenya shillings. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's you, a deal. You're right? getting a very good deal. Eh? Yeah. And this, can you also say that this is very good use of space because it's yes. under this staircase? Yeah. yeah. So here you have a storage space and the staff quarters on this other side. Mm. And above, you have a, 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 a fully and suit gym. Yeah. Yeah. So you can even use that as a guest room. You can use it, uh, yeah, use it as a guest room. Yeah, if you don't need a gym. In yeah, yeah. Room. You maybe have two guests visiting you. Yeah. Because you remember you have a bedroom that, that you can opens use, to the outside, yeah? That you can use from the backyard. Yeah. So if you have your in-laws visiting, one of them can use that one, the other yeah. one can use this one. Yeah. So you can comfortably host all your in-laws. That is from your wife's side, from, yeah. from, your, from <laughs> the man's side. Yeah. 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 Well, I mean, what else would you want with the house? <laughs> yeah. It's a perfect house for hosting and even for you to live in. Yeah. 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 Here is the garden that we were talking about. This is a passion fruit, as you can see. I love passion fruits. Mm -hmm. So I would fully you enjoy You have a passion for passion fruits. Yes, I have a passion for passion. <laughs> and here is Terere. So yeah. guys who are into their managus and greens, yeah. you're well catered here. Yeah? You have a banana, as you can see there, mm -hmm. fully mature. And you have uh, these uh, sugar canes. And yeah, like I said, I'm going to enjoy some later on. You have sukuma wiki, you have spinach. Yeah. Even to firi firi. Yeah. Oh, there's firi firi here. Yeah. Ah, fully <laughs> mature. And you, as you can see, you even have wall sconces 
all, all over. over the perimeter wall. Yeah. And this is the avocados that you are talking about. So you can see they are they're still uh, they are bathing, if I can yeah. use that word. <laughs> yeah. And we are back at the motorcoot where we started the tour. So now we are going to go inside the house so that we can see what this five bedroom house has to offer. Follow me inside. As you walk into the house, you're welcomed by this very nice lighting fixture and a gypsum ceiling, even have some down lighters. And as I might want to mention, this is one of the few spaces that you have tiles in this house because uh, they use granite. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so enjoy seeing the tiles for before they last. <laughs> yeah. And uh, this door uh, opens up to the house. It's a very massive door and uh, actually almost like a double door. Mm. So which is very nice for when you're moving things inside the house yeah. and as i had mentioned there goes the granite floors yeah? mm. and you're even going to see this on the staircase again they have used wood scatting this is mvule for those who know wood uh hardwood they know that mvule is very hard to find yeah yes yeah it's and even, expensive yeah, very well. expensive compared yeah. to even mahogany this is very expensive yeah? mm. again here you have uh this very nice wall that is good for display yeah mm -hmm. so if your kids are into sports or yourself are into sports music arts and mm -hmm. you have trophies to display uh, even a farmer i believe even a farmer yeah. has a trophy to display yeah yeah so they would make a very good use of this space yeah mm -hmm. yeah yeah like i know uh ray's mom she's a very good fish farmer she would mm -hmm. enjoy the koi the koi and board, display yeah. have trophies on farming or yeah. fish farming here yeah. yeah so wow how wonderful yeah even, even if you have you a, about even it? if you have a trophy or if you can hang a pictures there <laughs> <laughs> yeah so you Still can your trophy you can actually use it as a picture wall yeah because uh, your the pictures of fit here yeah. perfectly yeah so as well as they say you can display your trophy right there <laughs> <laughs> wow <laughs> very nice and here you have a security a bugger proof security measure mm -hmm. so as you'll notice this house is well buggered proof yeah so you have an alarm system all over through the windows the, windows, the doors, the doors. Yeah. so it will even tell you which door is open and before you leave the house yeah mm -hmm. or the window that is open mm -hmm. very important yeah? yeah again here you have a gypsum ceiling and uh, this is not a um, uh, wood as some people might think this is a gypsum fixture and a very nice lighting fixture yeah. yeah, but Benga likes these lighting fixtures a lot. Yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> actually, we saw this kind of uh, this kind of gypsum. Yeah, in the Mugoda house. house. Yeah, Mugoda house, the yes. seventeen million yes. Mugoda house. Yes, yeah. yeah. So, and they, this is very well done, and I really recommend them for that. Yeah? yeah. For those people with kids, and I know sometimes with households, you need to have a surveillance. You have cameras, as you can see. Mm. So, your security is well catered. And as I had mentioned, remember you're in a gated community, so you don't have to worry about yeah. that. Yeah? yeah. Coming to this other side, you, are, you have a sunken uh, living space, and uh, this, on this on the floor is uh, bamboo. Yeah, bamboo for, flooring. We have never seen this actually in any home that you have toured. We yet. have been touring houses for seven months. Yeah. And you have never seen a house with bamboo floor. Yeah. That should just tell you how this is rare and expensive. Yeah. And it's no. warm too. Like it's very practical to have it because yeah. it's warm. Yeah. It's uh, bamboo by itself. It's like is the finishing on yes. it. Yeah. It's like a wood that is finished. Yeah, bamboo it's, actually, it's actually wood. Yeah. But it's a very special wood. Very yeah. hard to do. That is why it's even more expensive than, than this yeah. hardwood. Yeah. Exactly. And you know, this made me ask the owner, why are you selling? Mm -hmm. This house, you made it, you did so much that you did with the house. Why are you selling? And and uh, he gave me his own reason and it's legit. So. It's for good reasons, of course, yeah. but uh, again, it just goes to show that there, there's a lot of thought that had gone into the house, yeah? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and these windows, there's something I was trying to rem to mention, but I forgot, yeah? yeah. So we we confirmed, yeah? It's uh, powder coated, yeah? yeah so powder this coated, is not yeah. paint, yeah? yeah? So you're sure that it's scratch proof and it's going to be like this for ages. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Forget about rust. Yeah, forget about rust. <laughs> and uh, it, it has a better finishing than paint. Than paint, yes. Yeah, yeah. And uh, you can see there's so many windows, so you get a lot of natural lighting. Again, you have gypsum ceiling, warm lighting. You have this very nice uh, lighting fixture. And uh, I can see the mirror at the entry area 
that uh, is reflecting me on the display wall, yeah? Yeah. So it's a nice fixture that even warms up the house, yeah? Mm -hmm. Again, you have uh, wall sconces around the house, all over the house, yeah? yeah. So it is well lit. And uh, you have a functional fireplace for those very cold nights in Nairobi. But today, it's, it's not cold at all. Yeah, it's so cold. Yeah, this house and is it's not a, cold. And it's a little bit raised, yeah. so it's going to be yeah. at least uh, easier to clean yeah. it. You know one thing with new houses, they're yeah. normally cold. But because yes. the owners are, are reusing this house, it's, uh, yeah, it's actually it's warm. very warm. Yeah? yeah, yeah, yeah. And therefore, you can use this uh, as your TV wall. You can also use this area to display your pictures. In fact, we have removed the, uh, yeah, the, the family old, photos. The family photos, yeah. So, but that's basically how you're going to use it. It's a very nice space, yeah. And coming to this other side, you have your dining area, still with the bamboo flooring. It's massive, as you can see. This is a very big dining area. Mm -hmm. You can do an, you know, a very big table here if you wanted. Yeah. yeah. But I like the choice of the table they went with because uh, it means that you have more, more op space, more yeah. open space. And really, something funny is happening. Mm -hmm. I'm starting to accommodate these things. <laughs> Perhaps it's how they're set, and yeah. uh, also in reference to space. Because uh, in yesterday we toured, uh, we were in a very big house. Yes. And there was also a, a sink. We actually used that sink. Yeah, we actually. And it used made it. sense for me because I was like, imagine if we had to walk to the powder room, <laughs> or if the lady of the house had to bring us water. Yeah. It would it have been nice. Yeah. So, but you see, with those big houses, yeah. uh, the powder room is a bit far from the dining. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So if you have a small space. If it you have maybe it, yeah, maybe two hundred square meters of space, you doesn't don't make sense to, yeah. to squeeze it. Exactly. But you have four hundred and above square yeah. meters of space. Yeah, you see how it, it's uh, this. This is a very big vanity setup. It is, but you don't even feel it. Yeah, because in fact, when you're here, you can't even see it. Mm -hmm. you, it's only when you move in that you're like, oh, you have a vanity setup here. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so it's interesting. I'm warming up to them, mm. and I appreciate that it's even there. Yeah, and especially if your space is bigger. Yeah. Again, lots of windows, so a lot of natural light. Gypsum ceiling with even that uh, molding on the gypsum. Yeah. And uh, the lighting picture again, very nice. I like that with every room you get a different type of lighting fixture. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Again, walls consist. Uh, before we go into the kitchen, yes. uh, there's something we forgot to mention here about this wall. Okay. Yeah, there's... Uh, Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's uniquely done <laughs> with this molding. Yeah. yeah. That you think it's paint, yes. but it's really not. Yes. This uh this is molding and uh it has a rough texture mm -hmm. and obviously it looks very nice. For those who know, this is very expensive to do. It is. Yeah, yeah. In fact, if you have a uh, pen and paper. I hope you started doing the math from when we started at the uh, <laughs> at the entrance. At the entrance, yeah. because you can see for sure this person is selling this house at a very good. It's price. a it's a it's a great deal, yeah, like for forty seven million. Yeah, like, that's a very good, a good deal. deal. Yeah? Yeah. yeah, yeah. And now, welcome to the kitchen area. You have this uh, small separation that you can also use as a bar area. Mm -hmm. So if you have those big stools, yeah. it would make a lot of sense. So good for conversations with the missus of the house or when you're hosting some guests, yes. you can entertain them that way. And uh, this is your kitchen. I like uh, the contrast they went with in terms of the red, the white, and the black tones. Yeah. yeah. So you have black, uh, these uh, countertops. countertops, and then you have uh, red on this uh, shelf things and uh, the, the, count the counters. Yeah? yeah. And again, you have a uh, white on the walls. So it is tiled all the way to the top mm -hmm. and you have gypsum ceiling again a different lighting fixture yeah i love to see it uh, the, see. the the only thing that i think uh, it's a little bit different yes. with, uh, yes and doesn't contrast well yeah. is the wood on yeah. the gypsum ceiling yeah. however i like the colors that they went with the yes. color palettes that they went with yes. even on the floors it's really amazing yeah they went with the uh, black tiles again here would be used tiles because it's the kitchen yeah and uh wow and uh, behind me is a door that opens the pantry space yeah mm -hmm. so and it is a very big pantry you it, can is, it is there's even a freezer inside here <laughs> for real <laughs> yes there's a freezer yeah. So you can see it's massive. These yeah. are massive. Uh, you know, these are massive, and there's even bananas that I believe that were harvested from that from garden. that garden. Yeah, <laughs> and uh, this is why also say again. Remember, I told you it's fully solar powered house. Mm -hmm. So this A is actually the changeover system. Yeah. Know, people might think we're just saying these things. This is a changeover. So when this arrow is pointing here, it means solar. 
So this is KPLC. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. This is amazing. Just having KPLC as a backup. As a backup. <laughs> Perfect house. <laughs> <laughs> and here you have a space for your cooker. Your smoke extractor is already done for yeah. you. And on this side you have a double sink. And uh, this door, we saw it earlier on. This leads to your backyard, which mm -hmm. you have already toured. Yeah? Yes. Yeah. And uh, I believe with that, we are done with the kitchen space. Now we can go to this side, this door. And I even like the, the flow of this area mm -hmm. that if you are coming inside the house, if you don't go back, you yes. can just come straight to the kitchen, to the kitchen instead yeah. of going to the living space, without going to the living space. Yeah. Yeah? If you're yeah. walking in hungry, you yeah. just walk in. <laughs> straight to the kitchen to yeah. look for food. Yeah? yeah. Here you have the staircase that leads to the upstairs. Yes. And, uh, and we are going to see that later on. And here you have a space where under the stairs, yeah? they have used as a shoe rack. Mm -hmm. Every time you do a house that is not staged or a new house, yeah. you always say, ah, I use this space as a shoe rack. As a shoe rack, yeah. But in this case, that they has actually been, use it as a shoe rack. Like that, yeah. Yeah? yeah. So it's a nice storage space, yeah. Yeah. And here you even have a baby you can use this as a coat room, but in this case, they have used these counters here for all your stuff. You can see skating shoes, yeah, uh, board games, boy, exactly, and yeah. even these things to to for your cars. Yeah, and so on. Yeah, and here you have a powder room serving the living spaces, and uh, your sink uh, setup or the vanity setup, your water closet, a very big window ensuring that you get natural light, and even the lighting fixture in the bedroom. I mean, in the powder but, room. Yeah, is uh, very interesting. Yeah, again, you notice the tiling. This is very good. Yeah. Yeah, it is. It, it is well, it. well textured. Yes, it's well textured. It's it feels really, different. Even feels the floor different. tiling. Look at it. Yeah, it has, this, can, I hope it can capture this detail. Yeah. Yeah. This is very beautiful. It is. Yeah, it is. Yeah, I think yeah. that's a feather. Yeah. Or I don't know. I, I, um, I mean, I'm proud of the architect and even the owner. Yeah. They did a good job with these spaces. Yeah. 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 And on this other side, you have uh, at the guest bedroom or the second bedroom that you're seeing on this house. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Remember the first one had a, we saw it at the back here. Yeah? Yes. So this is the second one. And it's spacious, as you can see, you can walk around the bed. Yeah, and, and uh, this is a very big bed. Eh? And on this side, you have your wardrobe setup with even a mirror setup. And behind this door is the bathroom. Yeah. One thing you notice with this bathroom, they are, they're very big, all of them, yeah, mm -hmm. all over the house. So you have a glass shower area and I uh, have the vanity set up on that head and the water closet. And there's even a cabinet set up here, you know, to put soaps and things like that. Eh? Yeah. Yeah. So with that, we are done with the ground level. Now let's take uh, the staircase and walk, see what the upstairs have to offer. As I had mentioned earlier, the granite has also been used on the staircase. So the, mostly you're used to seeing uh, tiles or wooden floors, but in this case they went with granite, which is very expensive. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, again, these balls. Where is the one who noticed them? Yeah. They're very cute, and they spice up the stair. You know, the stair rail. Yeah. Yeah. I think these are marbles. Yeah. Yeah. yeah these are uh, these ones. Yeah? Mm -hmm. These are very nice to see. And yeah. here you have a very big window, and this window runs all the way to your upper level mm -hmm. and it's a three level house as yeah. you're going to see so it's it's really massive and ensures that this area is hit with tons of natural light yeah yeah so the marble stairs continues and you have this lighting along the staircase so even now uh, if you don't put on the other lights it's hard for you to fall there yeah? yes and uh, here you have another uh, display wall uh, similar to what we saw downstairs which is uh, an added plus, yeah? Mm. Again, walls consist, the staircase continues to your upper level. And on this side, we have a bedroom. Let's start with this bedroom, yeah? Um, I like the blue walls. You like the blue walls? Yeah. It tells you it's a boy's, uh, it's a, probably yeah, it's, a, a, it's a boy's room, yeah? Yeah. And you even have down lighters and the gypsum and uh, cabinetry here, space. Mm -hmm. This is the bathroom, uh, vanity set up there, water closet and the shower area you can see the size yeah, yeah. It's, ma it's massive like it's, it's a decent space for it's very massive yeah, yeah. and uh, the blue again this is so welcoming for boys yeah? mm -hmm. uh, there's a baby bed there a very massive bed as you can see massive uh, closet yeah for yeah. Your, for all your boys yeah. to use yeah? and in and on this on this bedroom they have the headboard 
uh, yeah. uh, uh, behind the window. The window yeah. You had to make sure that. Yeah, because <laughs> all is fighting for it. Yeah. It is also that thing. If you watch a lower competitor video, he made that case. <laughs> so he makes that case a lot. Yeah. yeah. And uh, that's a corner window. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, I would I would love to push it back a bit. So, oh, so like, like can yeah, enjoy the sun. It's a, yeah, it's at the center of that window. You, you must know. enjoy sunlight. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so moving on to this other side. Uh, let's see bedroom number two yeah mm-hmm. so this bedroom is massive it's uh looks way more spacious maybe it's because of the layout huh? yeah so as you can see you can comfortably fit in two beds this is a pink one looks like a girl's room it even smells like a girl's room yeah it <laughs> yeah does. smells very nice yeah 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 but you mean boys don't like nice things you also get uh worse consists all over the house and those are very nice they look i mean the, the girl's room has more life to it i think yeah <laughs> yeah and I mean, this one. I mean, girls girls like to make their space very homely yeah yeah they they love a comfortable space yeah. unlike boys us yeah. we just like want boys, a room yeah. that is you know no, functional man, you and that's it that. that. <laughs> we also want nice things yeah I'm, I'm going to make a case for the boys, for the boys. <laughs> yes please spice up the boys room as well <laughs> But make I know, it, make it smell I, nice. I, I, I know girls understand what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and they will support me on yeah, this. I wish, I wish guys would uh, understand. It smells so nice. Yeah, it smells so nice. It smells been. so girlish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's so nice. Yeah. yeah. And uh, here you have a wardrobe setup. I mean, very spacious as you can see, mm-hmm. and uh, mirror setup there. And there's a door here, another full mirror, and. Um, here is the bathroom, very spacious. I like that they're all very th- they're this massive. Yeah? yeah. You have your water closet, your vanity setup. I like that they put these cabinetries because sometimes you always wonder where do you put uh, you yeah. know, your extra you know, products. Yeah. So with this one, you can just put them there. Yeah? Yes, I think they had to go with that. Yeah. Because uh, in normal vanity setup, yeah. you usually have those drawers be- oh, beneath the, bureau, the sink. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. so it makes sense. Yeah. Makes a lot of sense. Yeah? So. Uh, let's check now uh, another space here, which I believe is a family room. Uh, this uh, and I like that is all on it's on its own corner. Yes. In most houses, this is the first space you see when you uh, get on the first level yeah, mm. of the house. Mm. But in this case, it's the last space on this uh, place, which means when you're here, you can enjoy a lot of privacy. Yeah. And uh, again, it's for family members only. Yeah. But uh, even for family members, you want to create privacy. Yes. And so it's a nice pajama yeah, lounge. Yeah. Well, it's know? a nice pajama lounge. Yeah. 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 The yeah. only thing they don't have here is the TV. They don't have and a I TV. think that's because they have it in the living room. Yeah. 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 yeah so yeah. they don't see the need of having yeah. it here yeah, as yeah. well. And this. Uh, family room also gets a balcony and yeah. uh, this balcony overlooks your water feature very lovely yeah. your uh, golf course your golf course uh, I mean it's so beautiful I mean you can just imagine chilling here and having some good time yeah it's a very lovely space to be yeah, yeah I love it you can even feel the breeze in this area yeah, yeah. W- once you're inside this home it's a different kind of yeah. vibe from yeah. when you're outside yeah. Yeah, you this, can just feel it. Please allow me to say this, Willis. Yeah. For 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 uh, homeowners, instead of putting cabro everywhere, mm. please go for grass. Please. Yes. It it, it makes everything different. <laughs> yes, it, it does. Yeah. You can even feel that this 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 compound is cool. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And with that, we are done with the family space. Let's walk back inside and have a look at what most people are waiting for: the primary. Uh, bedroom. bedroom. Yeah. 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 So this door welcomes you to your primary bedroom, and I like uh, you know it's quality door, yeah. mahogany, yeah. and even the framing of the uh, the doors. Mm-hmm. And uh, walk with me inside, and it's a very big bedroom. Notice even uh, on the corridors and the primary bedroom they went with the bamboo, bamboo flooring. Floors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is very nice, yeah. Yeah. They have like a small sit up, uh, sitting setup here. I believe you can have a bigger sit up, uh, sitting setup. Yeah, here. of course. Yeah, yeah. You can yeah. even have an ottoman here. Yeah, you can yeah. have an ottoman there and just to soak a, in the sun when, oh yes, when it's yeah. shining. You know? Even a sizable day bed will fit here. Yeah. And you have a sizable window as well. Mm. Uh, it goes all the way past your ceiling. Good. Past your ceiling, all the way to the top. Yeah. I've actually not seen this. Because you have the ceiling and then you continue. It all the continues way to the top. all the way up. Yeah. yeah, I'm sure someone is wondering how do you change the curtain. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 
<laughs> but this is very nice to see. Yeah. This is good again overlooking your greenery. Yeah, well manicured golf course yeah. and your koi pod. You can still hear the sounds of the water. I, I mean, that's one, one of the things that excites me because uh, a lot of people when they are trying to sleep, yeah. they put that uh, sound on YouTube. Uh, the, the, the fake sounds. Yeah, the yeah. fake sounds on YouTube. <laughs> but in this case, you get the real thing. The like real it's just thing. flowing right outside. Yes. So it's, you can have a very peaceful night here. I know, man. Yeah. Imagine that is the only sound we can hear in this area. Mm. The sound of your fountain, <laughs> the sound of your water features, your koi pod. Yeah. And again, massive bed. I like their choices on beds, by the way. Yeah. I really like the, this very strong hardwood beds that they went for. Mm -hmm. And uh, wow, I hope even the person will buy this house. You see what people are going for? Yeah. Please, please maintain the standard. Maintain the standard. <laughs> I like the, the headboard. Yeah. To me, this is more interesting and way better than those massive uh, going to heaven headboards. Yeah. 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 This is very beautifully done. Yeah. And uh, I know sometimes when I critic something, someone might wonder, oh, so what does he like? This, this I like. This is very good. Yeah. And I like the way they carried all the way to the ceiling. You have the down lighters there that you can use as uh, reading lights mm. and then slopes all the way as a headboard yeah. and uh, the bed is just good size yeah and even can reach the socket some cases when you have those massive headboards you can't mm -hmm. even reach the socket the sockets yeah. yeah 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 and you still have your side tables just in case you want to have uh, reading lights here yeah yeah so and this other side you have your tv wall and uh it flows on to this other side where you have your walking closet and uh i'll I, I really like the some of the details that they they have done like for example the choice of their wardrobe the boards that they use yeah and you know boards cost uh, I mean, if you have constructed something, you know that this board is not does not cost the same as the other board. Yes. I used to have a hardware business, mm. so I know that this board is actually the last time I checked, and that was in 2016 when mm -hmm. I had the hardware. I don't know the prices now; I might not yeah. be right. But this this is way it's almost triple or even more. Yeah. Again, they used a uh, recessed, um, you know, handles. handles. Yeah, yeah. It's been a while since uh, we saw this uh, format, yeah. but I love to see it. And again, you have even this area that you can sit on as you're putting on your shoes, mm -hmm. or you can even use it as a dressing table if you wanted. And you have a mirror that uh, sort of like a full length. Yeah? yeah, yeah, yeah. And also you there's another uh, full length, full -length mirror. mirror. Yeah. yeah. So you and have on the opposite that. side. Also and you have that. another one yeah. because what's better than one? <laughs> three in this case. Three, three in this case. Yeah? yeah. And on this other, again, even on the closet, they used uh, the bamboo flooring. Yeah. And moving on to the bathroom space. Uh, here you have uh, this side window, so into your shower area. Yeah. And I like the rustic design they have on the shower. The shower fixture. Yeah. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I almost didn't see that until you mentioned it. Yeah. But that's a very good thing. Even the handle, the yes. the, the you know the hard held. Mm. It's very beautiful. Yeah. This this is this was very well thought out. It is. Yeah. yeah. You have a window behind that door. Your total toilet. Now, I had to mention the name. I'm not marketing them. They have not paid me. But uh, just Google the prices of total toilet. Yeah. Yeah. Should I tell them? I think we should tell them. Because <laughs> this toilet will cost you a hundred and fifty thousand just to have it in your home, or more with the current taxes. Um, yeah, or more with the current. Yeah, yeah. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> Talk about taking an expensive ship. I know, man. <laughs> I know, I know. This, this is uh, this guy. That's why I had to ask him, "What are you selling?" Because yeah. they went all out. You can't even find this in most of those houses that we are for sale. Yes. Apart from the house we told maybe in Lavington where they had done that, uh, yeah. the smart toilet. Yeah? yeah. But it's very rare to see such fixtures on a house for sale. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I think uh, the good thing with buying houses that people built for, for them to for them live to in. live in yeah uh, it's it, you get some of this stuff that you cannot get in exactly a well, well to be honest i would remove the toilet i would put you a normal toilet <laughs> <laughs> you, you shift with your toilet I'll shift with my toilet <laughs> <laughs> but i mean but the owner here is gracious enough not to be like me yeah so. <laughs> 
So again, child all the way to the top and you have a very nice lighting fixture up there. Yeah. Because uh, this area, they had meant to have a tub. They mm -hmm. haven't put the jacuzzi, but uh, in case you buy it, you don't have to do any piping. Mm -hmm. It's all done for you. This is the waste. And here is the inlet and uh, the, cold, the cold and the hot. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I forgot to mention this when you are in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. In most houses, you go and you have these taps that open cold and hot. Yeah. You, but you don't forget hot water. Yeah. In this house, they have a 500 solar heating water system, mm -hmm. 500 liter yeah. solar heating system, mm -hmm. which means you get hot water on all the taps. Yeah, that all are written the hot. Taps, <laughs> even the sink, the kitchen sink, yeah. you get hot water outside. You get hot water all the tap. Yeah. If you want hot water, if the tap has that cold and hot feature, yeah. you're getting you hot get water. You get hot water. Yeah, yeah. And with that, we are done with the bedroom space. Let's now check the balcony space. Now, this balcony is massive. One thing. Yeah. And uh, earlier on, we were discussing why there's no swing chair here. Mm. Where there's no day bed here. Yeah. Where there's, where there's where, uh, no uh, L. Yeah, couch. we'll put a, definitely an L couch there. Yeah, yeah. And I can have like a coffee table there yeah. so you can just chill here listening yeah. to the sound this of the phone. This my very close friends. Yeah. Or just my wife. Yeah, you know, you know just chill. I, this is a very yeah. nice place to chill. Discuss uh, about our earlier golf game. <laughs> <laughs> and listen to the sounds of the water. Yeah. We don't even need music. We just yeah. need to listen to that. I don't think I'll ever need music in this house. Yeah. This is enough music yeah. for the property. <laughs> and I'm impressed by the owner of the house that he gave us an opportunity to tour this house. Yeah, very friendly person as well. Yeah. But this is not where we end the show. Follow me. <laughs> <laughs> we are back at the landing of the first level. Now we want to take the stairs so that we can go to the second level of this house. As I had mentioned, it's a three level house, yeah? Mm -hmm. So you're actually going to the final level of the house. Yeah. Again, this window that we had mentioned earlier on uh, comes all the way to here. You have down lighters, you have this uh, chandelier. I love their taste. Yeah, I mean, it's a beautiful chandelier. It's so unfortunate that you cannot see it from the bottom yeah. to the top floor. I know. Yeah, but it's almost, it's... you almost have that steampunk. Yes, thing yeah. that you like. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> and notice the wall sconces. Uh -huh. This area is very airy. This house has reminded me of the house we toured in Membley, mm. though it was a bit smaller. Yeah. Now you see how space makes a, a room more lively. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, coming to this side, we have a pagola that you're going to see later on. Mm -hmm. Here we have uh, the tank that uh, ensures that you get uh, water inside this house, yeah. and. Uh, there's even something else that I will not say, but uh, for the buyers, for the buyers, for the buyers, for the yeah. buyer, I'll show you when you come, because uh, you should not see everything. Yeah, there should something else that yeah, you should it's see. not everything that's for public. Yeah, yeah. So welcome to the office space. This is a very good office. Mm. I really wish I had an office like this at my house. <laughs> Or uh, I'm sure really so also be envious of this space. Oh uh, yes, I'll probably editing. having my editing editing yeah. suit here. Yeah, yeah. So this would be so nice. Yeah, yeah. I mean, here you can just lock yourself and yeah. not be distracted yeah. for hours and yeah. hours as yeah. you're working on your yeah. video. Yeah, and from here I can see every space because uh, this is where you have your servers. Mm. And uh, well, it's uh, just keep keep uh, tabs of your whole house. Yeah. So. I know if you can envision yourself sitting in this chair, this position, mm. you need to give Ray a call <laughs> so that he can tell you how you can get this house yeah. and uh, you know have this as your working space mm. yeah, from home. Yeah. yeah. And uh, with that, let's now check uh, this pagola. So it's a patio with patio. a pagola. Yeah. It's a patio with a pagola. Yes. And uh, you know Willis. Uh -huh. I don't think we get to see a lot of houses that give you a lot of, uh, you know, open areas yeah. like this. Yeah. Look at this. All the, this is this space is a lot. Yeah, I yeah. mean, it's it's quite it's quite uh, interesting to think that a house that's not a flat roof yeah. can give you this much uh, outdoor space. Yeah. So for those who are wondering where we are today, we are in Kahawasukari, 
I know some people don't know who Kaskari. I told Megan in the morning we are coming to the Kaskari. Yeah. She was like, oh, Kaskari, <laughs> and where is Kawasalt? <laughs> <laughs> uh, she, yeah. she has never even heard of Kaskari. And I think the good thing about this estate yeah. is that there's no way you can have public means coming here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, so definitely oh, yeah. there's no crowding of so, unwanted people. <laughs> so that's, that is true what we is saying. I'm not saying that people were not wanted, but yeah. the idea of a gated community is just to have the members of that community yeah. within that space yeah. and uh, therefore this is a perfect perfect gated community mm. and uh, matters location this is one of the best locations that you can buy along Baker Road yeah yeah because it's close to the highway uh, therefore you know traffic wise you are, you are better off than someone way out of town yeah 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 the house is massive as you have seen guys and these are the solars that uh, we were talking about. Yeah. This is part of your power station. Yeah. Mm. So again, they even made good use of that space under the solars because you have those tanks. Yeah. Yes. So I mean, where really, is what? What? What else do we say? I notice that this grass rail is very high. Yeah. This is high. recommendable for people with kids, uh, even for yourself as a kawaida person. This mm. is good size, yeah. Mm. Yeah. Sometimes they say it's only people who are drunk who can fall, but even sober people can fall. Y yeah. Yeah. Yes. Why don't I have forty-seven million can shilling? <laughs> That's my biggest concern. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, I think at this point is where we tell people you keep watching and sharing these videos yeah. and subscribe to our channel yeah. because we need that first 47 million to buy this exactly. house. Exactly, we yeah. do. But in the meantime, if you are lucky enough and you have that money, uh, this is a house I would fully recommend. Yeah. And uh, you can always give Ray a call. He's going to tell you how you can come here and uh, see the house for yourself and even buy it. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah it is well done. As Willis was saying earlier on, the best houses you can buy are the houses that the owner have built to live in. Yeah. Then for some reason, maybe they are relocating or maybe they've been blessed more. They've been moving to another house. Yes. So you, they decide to sell. Yeah. What you get is a masterpiece compared to houses meant just for sale. So thank you so much, guys. Uh, I believe that is enough uh, to convince the buyer to give Ray a call. And as Willis was saying, please subscribe. It goes a long way in supporting what we do. Yeah? And thank you so much. See you on the next episode. Bye.